Warning. Spoilers ahead for She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Episode 5. Although the MCU has debuted its own version of superhero fashion designer Edna Mode, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law could have used a much more compelling tailor from the comics. While Luke Jacobson, played by Griffin Matthews, was indeed a fashion mogul in the comic series Dakota North starring a private investigator, he may be one of the MCU's most bizarre Easter eggs as he never made the jump to the canonical Marvel Universe of the comics in the way that She-Hulk did. Keeping that in mind, it's very strange that Marvel Studios didn't choose a more established tailor to be their version of the Incredibles Edna Mode, one who actually catered to those with powers. As seen in both of Pixar's The Incredibles films, Edna E. Mode is an iconic fashion designer specializing in superhero costumes during the age of the supers. As such, she can't resist making Mr. Incredible and his family new suits, even though all he originally wanted was a repair to his original costume. Now, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law Episode 5 introduces viewers to the MCU's version of Edna with Luke Jacobson, a highly exclusive designer who agrees to make stretchable work clothes for Jennifer Walters, while also designing her very own super suit. Additionally, the end of the episode reveals that Matt Murdock is also one of Luke's clients with Daredevil's iconic helmet and suit being marked for pickup. Although the MCU having its own Edna mode is fun, the comics Luke Jacobson never had any connection to superheroes like the live-action version now does. Instead, the perfect character to adapt for She-Hulk would have been Marvel's Leo Zielinski. First appearing in Amazing Spider-Man No. 502 from J. Michael Straczynski and John Romita Jr. Leo used to be a regular tailor until he suddenly became the go-to guy for the vast majority of Marvel's superhero community, and beyond. Why She-Hulk chose the wrong superhero tailor although Leo had all kinds of heroes for clients such as The Thing, Spider-Man, Captain America, and even Daredevil, word soon spread which led to the professional tailor being approached by the likes of Doctor Doom who needed cape repairs. As such, Leo started alternating days for his growing list of hero and villain clients, doing his best to remain neutral while making sure everyone was looking their best and most stylish. Naturally, this would have been quite the hilarious concept to see in the MCU considering all the working relationships Leo had formed with so many major characters both good and bad. Because Leo Zielinski actually was a superhero tailor who worked on suits for Daredevil and other heroes and villains, it's even stranger that Marvel Studios chose to go with Dakota North's Luke Jacobson to be their Edna Mode clone. Although there was no pressing obligation that the MCU superhero fashion designer had to be a character adapted from the comics, Leo Zielinski would have been the far more natural choice for the new character introduced in She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Key release dates Black Panther, Wakanda Forever release date, the 11th of November 2022 Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania release date, the 17th of February 2023 Guardians of the Galaxy Volume. 3 release date, the 5th of May 2023 The Marvels, Captain Marvel 2 release date, the 28th of July 2023 Blade 2024 release date, the 6th of September 2024 Captain America, New World Order release date, the 3rd of May 2024 Marvel's Thunderbolts release date, the 26th of July 2024 Marvel's Fantastic Four release date, the 14th of February 2025 Avengers, The Kong Dynasty release date, the 2nd of May 2024 5 Avengers, Secret Wars release date, the 1st of May 2026. With a gentle touch you, tell me what all of I have to share it must be cause how you are what I own you. Only you Still moving, still saying
walking 